This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today I'm at 7206 Willow Crossings Terrace. This townhome community is a prime location. We are in the Western Henrico area off of Broad Street. If you're all familiar with Broad Street, you know that pretty much if you need it, it can be found on the Broad Street corridor. This townhome community is unique in a couple of ways. Number one is we've got a gate right there in the middle of the frame. This is a gated townhome community coming in under 300,000. That is very unusual for this area. Secondly, this is an end unit and end units sell for a premium. It is also brick front, which is also another nice upgrade. Special shout out to Dee and Fran as I was here at the corner getting ready to shoot. Uh, they came and parked and they looked and they said, are, are you, are you Max? I said, well, it depends. They said, well, um, uh, we, we, are, are you the real estate guy? I said, uh, yeah, that's me. They said, oh, okay, yeah, we, we, we kind of put it all together. You know, you were, you know, a bald black guy and um, you look kind of suspicious and um, we figured that's probably who you were. I said, well, thank you. I appreciate you watching and subscribing and thank you for also profiling me. And we laughed and uh, uh, it just seemed to be really nice people. Uh, it's funny when uh, I interact with people on the streets, you just kind of never know who you're gonna meet or what they're gonna say. Uh, that's part of the beauty of being in real estate. Okay, here on the side of the unit, one of the great things about an end unit is we have some additional windows and you can see those there. We've got a bump out additional unit uh, window on the first level and then up on the second level as well. Uh, this additional common space, a lot of people really like that. You don't have someone on both sides of you. There is assigned parking here in this community. Uh, each house number is on the parking space. So you have your own parking area there. The HOA here is $180 per month, and that includes your exterior maintenance, snow removal. Also, your trash is included in that HOA. All right, let's go in and take a look. Our seller, I sold the home to her in 2008, and she is a candle aficionado. She burned a lot of candles in the unit, and candles over time give off a little bit of soot. So we do have some soot on the walls. However, she was generous enough to offer a $5,000 credit towards redecorating. So what that means is that whoever purchases this home will have $5,000 reduction in what they would normally come to the table with. They can then use that money for their paint. Uh, carpet is needed up on the second level and they can, of course, uh, pick the flooring of their choice. That's the beauty of a concession is that you're not stuck with whatever the seller wants to put in. And typically that's going to be antique white or something extremely neutral. If you wanted to come in with some custom colors, you of course uh, could have that concession uh, to do so. Okay. As we come in, this is going to be the more formal area here in the front of this condo. Uh, notice we have some really extensive crown molding that's here throughout the entire first floor. Uh, beautiful wood floors. The home is wired for an alarm system. We are now standing in the dining area. So your dining table, we go right here underneath that fixture. Uh, I love this bump out because if you were sitting here, you would have a view not only of the rear, but also the side and the front. So you've got great visibility here at this location in the home. We're going to transition now into the kitchen, which is very conveniently located right here. This floor plan is ideal if you were entertaining because the family room is nice and open to the kitchen. Our pantry located there. We do have granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, gas cooking. We've got a five burner range right there. Plenty of cabinet space here at our island. We have enough space on the other side for approximately four or five bar stools. So this is a great location here. Whoever is going to uh, be the beneficiary of whatever is being prepared can supervise and make sure that everything is being prepared properly. We do have a Whirlpool stainless refrigerator with ice and water in the door and also a stainless refrigerator, excuse me, stainless dishwasher right there in the island as well. All right, let's pop back here to our family room area. Notice that we've got 
five windows here. We've got two on the side, three on the back, and then we have the door. So just a load of light flows in here to the rear. A ceiling fan is also back in this family room. One of the things I love about the outdoor portion of this home is we have fencing on all four sides. So you've got the ability, if you have a, a rover, you can let him out here and he can run around and enjoy himself. Uh, we also have a storage building. We're gonna peek in there here in a moment. Of course, this low maintenance vinyl is maintained by the HOA in addition to the roof. The grass, they have a gate on the back and typically what happens is you leave that gate unlocked and then when they come to cut the grass, they can get in and uh, cut it and take care of that for you. One of the big benefits of townhome living is you don't have to worry about it. Your HOA fee just covers that and you can relax and enjoy life. Okay, let's go on in and take a look at the rest of this first floor. One thing about the concession is $5,000 is what's offered, but however, that is just an offer. When someone makes an actual offer on real estate, you are not bound to that. So let's say, for example, someone did not need that much. They could, of course, modify the offer, or if they needed more, they could modify it too. The seller is just typically looking at their net, what they're gonna walk away with. So there are some ways to massage an offer if needed in order to make it a very viable transaction for a purchaser. There are limits to what lenders will allow. Each loan product is different. So you just can't come in and ask for this huge, massive concession and think that the lender will allow it. There are limits and your loan officer will be able to share that with you for your situation. Okay, here in the powder room, our pedestal sink. This home is heated with natural gas. Of course, there is central air here as well. Okay, we're gonna pop upstairs and see what we have in store up on the second level. One thing I love about the developer that did this townhome, uh, this is a very popular floor plan. Uh, one of the benefits of a home built in 2008 is that they took in consideration that people love closet space, they love to have vaulted ceilings. They love some other features and that's reflected in this floor plan. Okay, this is our linen closet here at the top of the steps. This is one of two secondary bedrooms. This is gonna be the most conservative. This would be a great home office, storage room, nursery. Our closet there. And then notice the light that flows in. Nice, bright rooms. Okay, the second secondary bedroom is considerably larger and it is bright as well. You could definitely get an adult size bed in here with no problem. One of the big advantages of this particular townhome is we have two walk-in closets. We have this one here. Remember, this is a secondary bedroom and you're also gonna have one in the primary. So that's not very common in a townhome community to have two walk-in closet okay here to the right this is our hall bath this is going to be a full bath we've got a nice size vanity there with some additional drawers and a fiberglass tub shower nicely appointed bathroom one of the things to think about is if you buy this townhome simply have a paint party and a paint party simply means you get your friends, you get two five gallon buckets of paint, you provide some wings, some other food, uh, the beverage of choice for them, whether it be a fine Merlot, uh, maybe a nice scotch, craft beer, or if you have really upscale friends, uh, maybe a fine malt liquor. And uh, go ahead, give that to them as a carrot, get them in, have them stay for eight or so hours, and before you know it, you'd have this entire townhome painted. Just make sure you do the cut in for the paint. That's the edges. Make sure you do that first. And then you want to do everything else after that. Because once those beverages kick in, you want to make sure that those lines are already done. Okay, here is our primary bath. And this is a really nice bath here because we have a double vanity plenty of storage there underneath a wonderful garden tub look at the size of that tub you've got the natural light that flows in from both sides 
And of course our stand up shower, that's gonna be a tile shower. Here to my rear is our water closet. We've got a separate door. I know a lot of people really like the thought of having that separate door for the water closet. Here in our stand up shower, we've got the detachable shower head. Once again, white ceramic tile, nice timeless look. You could of course come in if you wanted to change out this color and make it yours. That white is gonna be neutral and uh, will work with just about any color scheme. Uh, really nice unit. Notice the vaulted ceiling. This gives a nice feeling of additional volume here in this primary. So you could really do a large bed and a sitting area back here towards the windows. Uh, just a really nice floor plan for this townhome. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. I believe this home will qualify for the rent to own program. So this would be a way if you weren't quite ready to buy and you wanted to go ahead and get into a property, uh, have some of the benefits of ownership without the financial commitment and uh, could go ahead and get your loan in the future, uh, that may be a viable option here or in many other locations. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.